1972, I, along with other people, including Carl Sagan, sent a plaque, a thing about the size of an automobile license plate, as a passenger on two spacecraft, the Pioneer 10 and 11 spacecraft, the first spacecraft that were going to leave the solar system forever and travel out among the stars. We thought that it was a good idea to put something on there that would say something about the people and planet from which this plaque and spacecraft came if, they were, if these things were ever captured by another civilization in space. And so that, this plaque it had on it sketches of us. It had a, a map which showed our position with respect to a number of uh, astronomical objects called pulsars, which located where the Earth was. And uh, there was a sketch of our solar system. Uh, and all of this was very basic information about the life of, on Earth, the intelligent life on Earth. At the time, I thought it was a good idea for two reasons. One is we thought it was perhaps a very wonderful thing for us to inform some other civilization of our existence by means of the plaque. This plaque, it's out there in space now, it's outside the solar system, two of them, uh, going at about 10 miles a second. Uh, it's going to take them many thousands of years to come to another star, but that on them is information about us and in fact, these plaques will live longer than our sun will live. When the earth has been consumed by the sun and everything we know has disappeared, they will be the, a little of the re, re, existing evidence that we ever existed. We thought it was important to have that record of our existence in space. The other reason it was important was it, it demonstrated that you could communicate with other civilizations uh, meaningful information which they could understand even though we don't share language uh, or perhaps uh, any other kind of common ability to sense and understand things.